Hey, okay, Family Honesty Camp, this is a workshop. This is a workshop. You're looking at my prayer wall. All those scraps of papers are names and families. Okay, also on the wall is a map of Florida and a map of the United States. Okay, transformation vacation. Here's the deal. I didn't ask to be... These, these are all the Mission Bible Training Center locations. I haven't put in San Antonio, <clears throat> Outcry in the Barrio. But here's the deal. Right down here, the pink, the pink arrow. That's Family Honesty Camp. The Beautiful Family Factory. The Beautiful Family Fellowship, BFF. A Crown by the Trail Family Honesty Camp, Highland City, Florida. It's called a Crown by the Trail because it's on the canoe trail and the bike trail. There's a canoe trail that goes all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico and a beautiful bike trail into the jungle right next to us. Beautiful, beautiful bike rides. This is an image of a Crown by the Sea. It was the Fellowship House on the Gulf of Mexico in St. Pete Beach. That was my grandparents' house. It was founded by my mother. She laid hands on the house and dedicated it to God. Okay, so you're hearing my stories about the curriculum. You're hearing about transformation vacation. These are the transformation vacation locations. Now, I'm working, I'm holding a laptop in my hand in order to do this video because all of my camera files are overloaded. I'm not smart in technology. I need assistance. I need people. If I had two or three people that were dedicated to God on this place, it would sharpen up very quickly. From living here, God is giving me an overview of family honesty camp that can be planted in many places near the MBTCs. So when the people come out, they have a secondary training program learning how to be communion group in the home with the freedom of picking up a job and having their children with them, etc., etc. This is the ongoing gift of the Holy Spirit through Jim Bracken. Remember, Father said to me a handful of days ago, um, you people in the Mission Bible Training Center program have been given, Jim was given a breakout program to break off the things of the world, just like the commercial fishermen walked away from their jobs, their money, their boats, their homes for three years. Just as they were a breakout, they took three years of breakout. Remember Paul, the same thing happened with Paul. Paul is a rabbi. His main thing is teaching in synagogues. He was sent out into the, the Arabian towns where there are no synagogues, the least logical place for a rabbi to go. That's where he was sent. He was broken away from his ordinary strengths and practices and his excellence and his style and his flair. He was set in a place of humility apart from the people that honored him and supported him. And he learned that God is sitting in human beings. On, he, he learned that God is sitting in human beings in the Arab towns for three years. So a three-year transformation vacation is a reasonable thing. So here, I'm going to show you. This is what I do. I pray over all these houses. Each one of these houses has between 8 and 40 people in them. There are 20 houses around the country where people are getting their transformation vacation. Right here, Family Honesty Camp is 337 miles away from Savannah. That's five five hours drive. Family Honesty Camp is... 207 miles away from Sunrise MBTC in Fort Lauderdale. Those are the two closest centers. And then we've got the wonderful Audubon office. We got the first center, the Norma Center. Then we've got the Restoration Ranch. And we got Genesis in Northport, Alabama. Crossville Mission Bible Training Center. The KMBTC. Kentucky Mission Bible Training Center in Salyersville, the Ohio MBTC in Hillsboro next to Cincinnati. 
We got Set Free in Greenville, which is started by the safety net. The, one of the greatest miracles in my life was going from St. Pete Beach, Florida, to the Set Free to start up the Set Free Center with the power of the Holy Spirit. House of Hope, Brazil, Indiana. Mark Tree, God's New Life. Mark Tree, uh, Mark Tree, <laughs> um, Arkansas, and Paragold, Arkansas, and Freedom House in Holcomb, Missouri, and Victory, Victory, in Cent, uh, in Center Ridge, Arkansas, and First Fruits in Jerseyville, Illinois, and the Gastra Mission Bible Training Center way up in the Upper Peninsula, and Lion's Den in Roscommon, Michigan, and Miss Midwest Mission Bible Training Center in Cresco, Iowa, and then the marvelous Northwest Mission Bible Training Center in Beaver Creek, Oregon, and the amazing Mountain of Mercy Mission Bible Training Center above the clouds, so high in the mountains, off the grid, that in the morning... You are actually above the clouds in Honeydew, California. Amazing place. And I have not put in the Outcry in the Barrio Center of San Antonio and a cluster of others down here that are a lot of Spanish-speaking, dancing mes Mexicans high on God, a free program that is not, it's a breakout program. These are all a breakout program. These are not teaching you how to be Ecclesia, the called out peoples in the homes like Jesus did, because Jim and I were both raised in ordinary American Christianity that had been built by Constantine and the kings of Europe, who did not want to renounce justification for killing. They wanted to kill and be in power. They didn't want to admit their faults and sins. So that was cut out. The most important maintenance of the faith was cut out of the church. And that's why Jim went, went to Methodist church, went home and got on his knees and said, there's got to be something more. Jim was given the breakout program. And now I, as your servant, am giving you a detailed outline of what the early disciples were, were doing. It's easy to find on the internet if you care to research, but most people are caught up in their religious habits in a way where they don't want to change their habits and block the demons. They don't want to change their habits and actually hear the troubles and the sadnesses in their children. They don't want to change their habits and hear the guidance of the Holy Spirit to send them towards miracles. This is the time of rising up and transforming. Don't worry about the stuff that's going on in the world. Get your transformation vacation, but first learn what you're going to do when you come out. That way, wherever the Holy Spirit sends you, he's going to send you to places, even if he sends you somewhere to die. It's awesome. At least you know how to build the cluster of families and the admitting faults and admitting callings and communion and then talking with the Holy Spirit as a group, as a family. There's no such thing as a junior Holy Spirit. The children will give revelations right from God that are clear as a bell, instructions, warnings, encouragements, and guidances for the family. This is the work, the constant work that's going on in my house. Now, across right next to my house in the beautiful field, I've been praying over this field, for there to be a bunch of tiny homes in this field, a cluster of families training in the stuff of God. My landlord is about to put in a beautiful new double wide trailer. If you want to be a neighbor to Family Honesty Camp, you can get in contact immediately and we can team up and create an MBTC transformation vacation fun training family where we I've already got tandem bikes, adult trikes, canoes, a sailboat, another sailboat on the way, all kinds of stuff, a fire pit, 
tons of musical instruments. We are a preparation for family fun, which is literally what the early disciples were. They were the funnest and most servant-hearted families in the neighborhood. And I want to tell you a story about the church in China that I heard recently. In the church in China, when the government comes in to destroy the church and bring the people away, the church meaning the house, when the government comes in to get the people who are in the house focused on Christ, the neighbors stop the government forces and they say, these people are the nicest people in this neighborhood. They keep us alive. When the road washed away, the government didn't fix the road. But those people were out here working on that road night and day for two weeks. No one else worked, only the people in that house. Don't you dare touch those people. Our job is not to support governments and to rise up and argue about legislations. Our responsibility is not to be police over unbelieving people. Our responsibility is to be the most beautiful family in the neighborhood that everyone runs to when they have suffering, needs, hurts, need for counsel. That is our job from friend Jesus. As I live, I will die. I'm a dialysis patient. I don't know how long I'm going to live, but I'm telling you, your Jesus and my Jesus set in place an outline for how to be family that was in place for 300 years and Constantine and the kings of Europe wrecked it and our entire American Christianity system has been brainwashed by that mentality. We need to change back to the mentality of Ecclesia means called out people who are the royal servanthood, the royal servanthood of the entire human family around us. And we are a secret royalty. We look like nothing. We look like trash. We look like beat up, whatever. But we are actually the high and beautiful servant royalty that calls the people out of their tragedies and into friendship with God the King and into eternal life. It's a lovely thing. It's a remarkable thing. Ecclesia is a cluster of families, a cluster of brothers who are family men gathered in a home with all of their children and women and with a bunch of people who are totally thrilled to be single like Jesus, the favorite aunties and uncles the single people power ministry. That cluster of families in a home invites people in. They have parties and banquets. They have worship parties. But at certain moments, everybody who's a visitor, everybody who isn't joined is set out and the door is locked. Only the people that are willing to be tortured and killed for Yeshua today remain for the communion. And we admit our callings that we're cheesing out on or too lazy to follow. We admit the things that God's asking us, like King Saul, like the rich young ruler. We admit the things that God's asking us to do to one another. And then our friends say, oh, I can help you with that. Oh, it's not so scary. Don't be afraid. That's wonderful. Many miracles will happen. Many people will get saved if we gather together and take that walk that you're being called to walk. We are called to do things together. He sent them out two by two and little clusters and teams. We are a family whose primary purpose is sending out an outreach team on the internet and in the world every day. Remember, in Acts chapter four, five, six, they say, listen, we can't even worry about food distribution. Peter's shadow is healing people. We need to get back out on the street. Their primary care is moving, touching, moving, touching, moving, touching, moving, touching. Guiding, warning, guiding, encouraging, healing, healing, showing God's power flowing out of them, being in the right place at the right time. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you just said that. My mother just blah, 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 blah. That's just, you know, words of knowledge, words of wisdom. Our job is being a family that sends out and a loving outreach team every hour of every day. And the kids say, Mommy, Mommy, can I go on the miracle team tomorrow? Mommy, Mommy, can I go on the treasure hunt tomorrow? I really want to go with Mr. Brian. I want to really go with, with Aunt Shirley. Please, 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 please. And the children 
our leaders in the singing and in the spiritual revelation. Ecclesia has not been part of Jim Bracken's training. True Ecclesia was not part of my training. It took me many, many years to actually learn. Then it wasn't in place around me. But then when people started dying, relapsing, after they've been through their transformation vacation in the mission, and then three, four years later, they die in the bed next to their four-month-old kid, that is what motivated me to start putting together a clear curriculum. It's not that complicated. There aren't that many details. And here it comes. So pray with me over all the Mission Bible Training Centers. Go to missionteens.com and call each one of the centers and ask them, how many people are in your house? And write that number down on your wall, on your prayer wall. Write the number down in each one of the centers. And then lay hands on that piece of paper on your wall and you're touching all these people and their their families there are many other little treats that we help put in place so when people come out of the centers they have all these cool things to do that are in their schedule that keep them spiritually alive this is just a hello from family honesty camp peace be with you